Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. Um, right now is my birthday, and I'm not even sure how old I am, actually. Uh, I was born in 1966, so 76, 86, 96, 2006, that's 40, and some extra years, you see? <laughs> Uh, I've always had a problem with math, actually. I think it's because they did something to me when I was born, but... Um, I'm really sick. I have, like, what they call flu-like symptoms. But what I believe, through my uh, targeted individual worldview, to be some kind of seroconversion uh, thing when you get this Morgellons fiber, the first inoculant fiber thing into you, or something genetic changing uh, because we've been packing and moving and going through all this stuff and all our stuff has been completely infested with you know they hosed us down with this stuff for months for, you know and uh, so as try as we may to clean it and whatever it seems like every time we go near our stuff all the things that you know that have a lifetime of whatever uh, all those things that meant something to you, right? No, you can't take them with you, though. But while you're here on the planet, in this place that can be so difficult to live in because of what's going on, all that stuff has a purpose, you know, like tools and clothing and medicine and, you know, it's things, uh, things to communicate with, computers and phones and all the accessories, you know? It's like, yes, uh... I understand that this is a blessing to be able to speak at all to everyone, anyone who cares to watch. And uh, so now I'm sitting in my friend's house. He just texted me. He said, I'm on my way home. And I had told him I would be gone before he got back, but I'm not feeling very well at all. So I'm going to ask him if he'll let me sleep on the floor quietly. And if not, I'll either... I don't know, go to the hospital and spend the night sitting in the emergency room or go back to the locker and I don't know man so I really need like another night or two of sleep uh, I've been taking these vitamin packs these uh if anybody knows about these things I've been taking like 20 of them or something you know like every I just over and over and over, drinking as much fluids as I can, trying to get as much vitamin C into me and piss out as much whatever as I can, uh, coughing up the yellow stuff, so it's likely a flu, but my other theory is that they spread this stuff around in places for certain portions of the population to pick up, but, uh, that's just me, you know. I mean, I've read all these declassified uh, Freedom of Information Act documents where they explain how they do it and where they did it and why and when. And so what makes you think they're going to change? Uh, I guess the government isn't back in business today. That's what I read in the newspaper. The government is back in business. To me, it seemed like a whole big show, you know, in order to make everybody feel a certain way <laughs> and and probably make a lot of people a lot of money, you know. Uh, nonetheless, we're still looking for a camper. We're still trying to raise money for a camper. We've had some couple of wonderful people put a few dollars in, and a few wonderful people pledged some money, and uh, one way or another, we'll, you know, we've got to do something. So we keep looking, and Pedro's packing. She's got these people banging on the door. Guy offered her $1,000 to move out by Sunday. And she's like, yeah, so give me the money. And he says, oh, i got to send somebody. So he sent somebody. Here, sign the back of this blank piece of paper. And she said, what are you, crazy? <laughs> Bring me an agreement. And I told her, you know, uh, though they said, we'll give you $300 now, and the rest we can get out. And I was like, well, if they're going to give you $300 now, they're going to give you the rest before you put one box into the moving truck, you know? I have the feeling that, that 
you know, I don't know what's going to happen, man. I hope these people don't get dirty and crazy like the other ones did, because they're all part of the same thing, and poor Peter's in there with the voice to skull telling her, be afraid, da, da, da. housing court, arrest her, hospital, da, da, da. you know, whatever, just constant droning on, it's really hard to focus, and, um, but we need a place to stay, and, and she, she's finally looking at the campers and, and going, hmm, maybe we could do this, I don't know. Uh, the problem is with the amount of money we have, it's going to be like a beat up old whatever, but you know, cold and da da da. But it's a roof over your head and it's a blessing, that's what I'm looking for. One way or the other, we got to do something. Uh, you know, um, just sort of trying to drag it out a little while so we can figure out what's going on with the money and wait for checks to come in and figure out how much we have and how much it's going to cost and insurance and licensing and registration and all these things are like foreign to me because I've never had a car or anything that I have to do it if we're gonna you know I don't know and then there's the other problem of you know what the perps are like man breaking into places and destroying shit and breaking everything that you have and fucking up your whole life and screwing you around every way you can and then it's like you know they're gonna fuck it up so it's almost like why bother getting anything that actually does you know it's like Wow. Or get something that does what you need it to and then figure out some way to watch it 24 hours a day, you know, like sleep in shifts. And what does that do to a relationship? <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, I I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity to be able to speak because it makes me feel better. Just And also getting comments back from people, especially nice comments, really does help. And uh, I wish I had more time to spend writing nice comments to people because it does help, you know. Oh, the other weird thing is there's something on Facebook. This guy O S I Informer. It's supposed to be some I don't know. There was supposed to be some call in thing that's supposed to help targeted individuals talk about whatever and blah blah blah. And so I tried a few times to get on there and then I got on there and spoke my mind and they all sort of like laughed at me and called me names and you know disparaged me and said oh let's let the adults talk now and all kinds of stuff and, and so then I took them off you know you have Facebook and you're like okay how do I disconnect from these people and so you defriend them and you go through the whole thing you're like don't send me any more this don't send me any more that I don't want to receive this I don't want to and no matter what I do, these people are like, bing, 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 bing. They send all these alerts to my phone, like hundreds of them, you know, so that I can't even figure out what's real and what's just this guy. And I keep asking them, could somebody please explain to me how to get rid of these people? Uh, you know, please. Uh, I really don't want anything to do with them. And they just, like, laugh at me and call me names. And so um, it's obviously a frustrum which was my first impression when I got on there and heard these people, they just like drone on and on incessantly about things that are really not important to many people at all. And it's just a way to try to get you to call in and talk, but they won't let you talk. No, that's just weird. One of these, uh, I, I, you have to check it out, man. It's some really funny shit if you have a moment to, uh, and, you know, they claim they're, they're supposed to be a helpful group and everything. And so you would think that any helpful group would refrain from calling other targeted individuals names and, and then calling them liars and, you know, just in general making them feel like dog shit, you know, in any way they can. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like going to the social worker to ask for help and she hits you over the knuckles with a ruler and says, well, you're a piece of shit, you know? I mean, you don't really expect that when you go to people who claim to be. But it doesn't matter what you claim to be. Anyway, that's all the time I have for the moment. We'll see what happens whether I sleep on the floor or sleep somewhere else. And Thank you all. God bless you. And I pray for everybody who's suffering especially under tyranny. Thanks for watching. God bless you.